subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to lift an Atlas stone. I believe I'm a good coach at this because I hold many world records in this lift. Currently I've got the fastest stone run. On the way we go! Storm and blast the first stone aloft! And Bishop chasing him down hard. Look at this from Tom Stoltman roaring through the stones. Wow! 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 And I own the world record of the heaviest stone ever lifted. Yes. Take your position. And here. Let's go. Easy left. Come on. Come on, Tom. Come on. Squeeze it and Tom. Come on, Tom. Come on. Tom. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, squeeze. Come on, Tom. Come on. Come on. So today we have got a special assistant. Assistant. His name goes by the one and only Luke Stoltman. Let's go. Go over what Luke's wearing and what not to wear and what to wear for at the stones. So first of all, this jumper. You should not wear long sleeve jumpers as the stone will not stick. Tacky will not stick and it just gets in the way. Um, so, preferably t-shirt or topless. Shorts, again, these are baggy, they're gonna get in the way. This material's not the best either. You wanna wear neoprenes that are nice and tight and that will, the stones will stick to when they're loaded. His shoes are actually good, you know? You can wear these trainers like this, you can wear Olympic shoes, you can wear Converse, but anything flat is, for me, a great, great choice. So look, go get changed and come back and be ready. Right guys, now we're gonna see if Luke's ready to lift stones. Ho, ho, ho. He is looking like the best stone lift in the world. Hey, hey. Right, here we go. So, as we said earlier, stone lifting and tacky goes. But we are gonna try lifting this stone without tacky to see if it's as effective, if skin by itself will be able to lift this stone from the ground over the bar. So please, demonstrate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so as you've seen there, the stone just slipped off him. He had no grip whatsoever. So now we are gonna apply the tacky that I use, the old time strength stone tacky. We're gonna put some of this on his forearms and his hands, not too much. There you go, boss. That's Luke getting uh, tacky nice and warm, getting it applied into his hands and arms. Now we're gonna compare the non-tacky to what it's like to lift with tacky. There we go, guys. As you can see, it is so much easier lifting with tacky. So Luke showed you the difference between not applying tacky and applying tacky and how effective it is when uh, lifting atlas stones. So now we're going to run you through a step-by-step -step guide of how to lift an atlas stone. So step one, the key here is positioning, where you're putting your feet, where you're putting your body. So you want your feet and all your body in line with the middle of the atlas stone, just like Luke's showing you here. That's the perfect position. Uh, but you can you sometimes see a few people picking up the wrong way. So the wrong way is when your feet are right, right uh, behind the Atlas stone and they're using their legs and shins to roll it up. That is one way you do not want to do it. And another way is when your hands are right at the front and again they're using their legs and shins to try and roll it up. These can cause injuries, these can roll off you easily and just avoid these. <laughs> So step two, you're gonna squeeze. So we know where the position is, so we're gonna squeeze the middle of the stone as hard as you can, and really just pick it up straight, and then sit down with it. Perfect, there we go. Now we're gonna have Luke showing you how to reposition your hands when the stone is on your lap. 
So step one again, we're on, on the middle of the stone, squeeze your stone for step two, pick it up to your lap. There we go. And then step three, you're going to put it over your, this, sorry, your arms around the stone, tuck it into your midsection, and that's a nice solid, ready to pop up over the bar. Now I'll do step four. So we're going to do step one, step two, step three, as we showed you. And step four is the last part of the stone movement, which I'll show you guys. Perfect. So step two, step three. Right, step four would be you squeeze the stone in and you really want to generate hip power so you can fully extend. You really want to fully extend your hips and your arms and your reach. So three, two, one, go. <laughs> and pop it over like a pebble. So a common mistake you'll see in stone lifting is the last part of the lift where people don't fully extend and try and meet the bar uh, and it will knock back like Luke's going to show you here. Luke's looking for the bar, it's not going over and it's stopped back down on his side. He's finished uh, his at the stones but as you can see he's a right mess so to remove uh, tacky, you can use WD-40 paint strippers, but preferably to protect your skin, use baby oil or the tacky removers that you get. But we've only got access to this today, so we are gonna remove it with this. Um, I believe I'm good coach. Okay. Nope, 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 he is not. <laughs> that is the how-to with a spicy Stokemans. How to lift and at the stones of the spicy stockmans. My um, apprentice Luke did very well. So, hope you enjoyed it. Next week, we will be doing three of the best accessories that got me to the level that I am today. And we will show you, and we will have this apprentice again, showing you my techniques. Thank you guys. Uh, stay safe, smile, stay spicy, and ring that little bell. Ding, 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 ding. Even, and make sure you feed your uh, apprentices. Ding, ding, ding. Ding. Ding.